Hello everyone and welcome back to The Sims 4 and today I have a collaboration effort with you and it is a brand new series that I am starting with my really good friend Hey Yorkie. Now just a quick introduction, if you remember back in the day, back in the day in my channel I did a collaboration with this good man where he would build houses and I would furnish them and uh, it was a lot of fun. And the reason that we stopped it was due to computer issues that he was having at the time. But now he has a new PC and The Sims 4 is launched. So we decided that we would do it again. Um, so this is the first house that we are doing. And it is a starter home. And he has left me with 7,000 simoleons to try and furnish a house. Now it is a challenge um, because he has made a really pretty garden as you can see. And it's got a lovely porch. And you know all that good stuff and he's done some nice decoration now the project was for a sim who was a gardening sim and i was going to make one but then i was looking through the catalog of sims and the people that i follow and one of my subscribers wendy has made this sim and i think that she is gorgeous now she's not a gardening sim but you know you could change that and uh, if wendy oops Excuse me. If Wendy wants to make her link available, Wendy comment below. I won't do it in case you don't want it. However, it's your sim and she's awesome and I'm probably going to end up playing with her. Right, now the way I did it before, I did a speed decoration of it but I've decided to go ahead and try out decorating it with you guys. So that's going to be the, the challenge. So this is the inside of the house bathroom obviously this is obviously a bedroom i'm imagining this is the kind of kitchen living room area and i thought if we did the decoration together it might be quite fun especially since there's only seven thousand, so it may be a struggle now i have found that you can turn the indoor grid off by just pressing g and that was thanks to you guys so let's go ahead and uh, start shall we so i'm going to start with the most expensive items first and let's just get that in the way and one of them being the fridge so I'm just going to go and we'll pop that in. I thought it'd be quite fun to do it with you guys because like I say normally I do a speed and you don't really know you know my thoughts and things on this. Now to me she's quite funky and I don't think this wallpaper would really suit her to be honest but I can't change it so I'm going to have to just go with kind of what's there. Why did that go away? That was quite annoying. Um, so I'm going to just put some kind of neutral, neutral, <laughs> neutral cabinets, yes, neutral because that's a word. Why is that not, why is that not working? Hello? Seriously? Why is, why is that not a thing? They always go around the corner, what in the freaking for freak? You go in this corner. Oh my god. Is it because I have auto counters? Is that what the problem is? Yes. Okay, so that's what the problem is. So I had auto counters off. And the reason that I had that was so that I could access the super duper long cabinet, which I'll show you in a second. I don't know if I'll have enough money for it, so we'll just go with, oh my god, we're nearly a thousand down. Oh my this is going to be quite fun. <laughs> cooker. We'll just go for the yummy cheapo depot cooker. Cheapo depot? Yeah, because that makes sense. I wonder if we move this to here whether... Yes, we can. Okay, so it is going to be a basic, basic, basic of the basic kitchen. It's not going to be anything amazing, but it'll be a good starter home for you guys as well. And we can come back to that and see how our money is... Uh, sort of sitting. The good thing about this place is it has space so although we might not utilise it all at this point it does have it there if you need it. Right, so that's the kitchen in so let's deal with the bathroom because that's the other one that can be quite expensive. So I'm going to go with the ambassador toilet and uh, can you put them at an angle? Oh, that's sad. I'd quite like to have done that. Well we can put the toilet mm -hmm. Yeah, put that there. Will we? I don't know. Will we? No. Let's go ahead and do this. <laughs> Maybe speed decorations are probably better than me uh, kind of yabbering away here, but we'll give it a go. We will give it a go. Okay, so that's the shower in. 
and then for sink I actually think that for an extra 25 simoleons that sink looks better so we're gonna go with that and we'll come back we will come back I promise um bedroom I like to get the kind of essentials in now she's she's a hot sim we're not gonna lie so you know the cheapest beds the cheapest single beds 240 and the cheapest double beds 430 so let's go for the double first of all you know because she'll be wanting to romance it up and you can't exactly romance it up in a single bed you know you know well you can if you're a, if you're a teenager but that's a whole different story <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole different topic that we are not going to go into. Um, okay, so that is uh, probably the essentials that she needs to uh, live. We will put, because she can do, she can, you know, sit in her bed to dine and things like that. So let's go ahead and try and see what we can do for a sort of living room style deal. So it's 180 for the love seat, 290. So let's go for the love seat. And I think we'll make it a nice, just to liven the place up a little bit. I wish I could change that wallpaper. I wish I could change it. <laughs> Can I change it? Well, like, no, I can't change it. So I can't even go in and do that right. Okay, never mind. Because um, I was going to say we could brighten it up by putting in some, some nice kind of couch or something such as that. Yeah. Or will we do... Right, we'll put that in just now and then I'm going to change the wallpaper. I know that I have to change it. I have to. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Toph, but I can't. I need to change the wallpaper. Right, so we're going to move the living room down here. That's actually quite an ugly colour of couch. That looks like somebody's had diarrhea all over that couch. Oh, I like the red. Red's nice. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, yeah, let's let's do two of these. Let's do two of these. Because you wouldn't have them facing the door with their, you just wouldn't. So let's put this back a little bit and let's put in a nice coffee table. Um, we'll go for, um, what about, that's only 70, that's not bad actually, not bad at all. We go for that because it's kind of got a hint of the red in it. Can we put that more in the, the centre? I'm pretty sure that the Sims can. We will play test it to make sure that she can sit at it. I will definitely play test it to check that out. But then if we do that, then she can put our TV on it. But let's face it, we ain't got money for a TV right now. Or I could spread it out. No, that's, that's too spread. That's what he said. <laughs> oh, Laura. Can't resist a that's what she said joke, even at the most inappropriate of times. Right, we're going to go with that. I just want to get the basics in, and then what we'll do is we'll tart it up a little bit just to make it look more. I don't know. More at home, if you like. Yeah. Okay, well, I think what we'll do is go for the same uh, dining table. Was that the one? No. We'll go with the same, yeah, we'll go with that and then we'll get some chairs run about it. These aren't that much which is nice. I think that matches well. Okay. 
Because it is just for her at the moment. Or is that, would that go kind of with the red? Um, what is the difference in price here? What are we, what are we talking difference price wise? I kind of like the red chairs. I like them. Let's um... Now I know I don't have a sink in the kitchen but I have a sink in the bathroom. Oops. So she will... I like that. I do. I like that. Some of you might hate it but I like... I do like it. I think that it's nice. So she, she has a sink in the bathroom so that's fine. So let's see what we can get for a... A bookshelf because she needs a bookshelf she needs a bookshelf the good thing is we can get one for 175 simoleones just go for a white one or we'll put it there which is quite nice it's almost like a piece of art in itself so we're getting there and we've got three and a half three and a half grand left all right so we have pretty much the essentials in apart from a sink but we'll get there Let's see how much a kitchen sink would be. Uh, let's do it. I'll put it at the window so that they can look at the window when they're doing their, their sinkness. Now if you turn auto counters off, you can then open this up and you can get different types of counters that you wouldn't be able to get before. So if you look at this, auto counters on, you don't have... Actually, you do. I didn't think... I didn't think you could. Well, there you go, you can extend it, never mind. Oh no, that's, hold on. Auto counter's on, and then you go in here, and then if you hit that, it turns it off. Okay, so yeah, you need you need it off. And then we're just gonna add that, this in. Now, I know it blocks that window, but I just think it makes the kitchen look nicer. And also, is that the same color? No, I've actually chosen the wrong color. Yes, I have. And what it does is it kind of separates that area from the wallpaper, because the wallpaper did look harsh, that break there. But that does look a bit better. It looks a bit better indeed. Right, now it's time to tart the place up a little bit. So let's put some lights in. Good. Right, guys, we are getting somewhere now. So all we need to do is jazz it up and make the place look nicer. Because at the moment, it's all right. We don't have a TV, which I know is distressing, but we have bookcases, we have a bookshelf, so she definitely has entertainment. And let's face it, it is a starter home, so you're not going to get... I'll try and get a TV, but I doubt that you'll get a TV. So I want to add a rug. Can you make the rugs bigger? Oh, you can. Can you? No. No, you can't, Laura. It just pretends you can until you, so you get excited like I did. And actually, you can't. Right, what's the cheapest big rug we can get? 65 quarters. Oh, that's so cute for a kid's room. Look. Dinosaurs. Um, unicorns and that. What about this? This is just a small rug. I could put this in the kitchen or something similar. Um, why don't we do that? It's a bathroom one so we don't want that. So why don't we go for to kind of match in with the the decor. We'll do that. Um, I need a big rug. 285 into the rows. I've got a rug exactly like that. 145 for nature silhouette. So let's go for that and go for let's see what that looks like. I kind of like that because it's got the outside but I don't know if that colour actually matches. 
Uh, we don't. I mean, we're not. We don't need to go for matchy matchy. I'm gonna go with this light colour, I think, to pick up on the light wood and things. I'm gonna put this in the living room, just to kind of give the living room more of a defined uh, area, and we'll push that up to to the wall, just to give it more of a, a defined. And do we have a square? Oh, oh, I like. Well, I don't know. How big is the cheaper one? That would maybe be better. That's maybe a bit big. Right, so can we recolour this though? Yes, we can. We can make it a nice... I want to kind of tie in with the bigger rug as if they kind of come in a set. <laughs> but we know they don't. But we'll kind of... Right, we'll go for that lightness there. But then do we want a circle? But then... Mm, it's difficult. It's actually quite difficult with you guys listening to my thought process. Because you're probably thinking I sound like an absolute lunatic at this point. Because <laughs> I know I feel it right at this point. Um, That's too small. Too small. That's what she said. What about this? Oh, okay. I think we might be able to get a similar colour pattern with this one. And it's a circle one, so yeah, let's run through this. Let's run through this. No, 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 no. Okay, we might just leave that. We might just leave that as is at the moment because that's quite nice. Okay, bedroom. So let's make the bedroom look a bit nicer. Why don't we go in and just get that? Show your. Sh we'll put one. We'll put this flowery one in, and I quite like the blues in the bedroom. That's too dark though. And to be honest, I don't think it's big enough. It's not big enough. And I'm going to crack it out, guys. That's what she said. <laughs> we could put this in to pick up the blue. That's quite nice. I do like that. I like that a lot, actually. Um, do we want a contrasting kind of colour? Yeah, we'll go for that. Alrighty, so do, do, do. I'm actually liking how this house is coming together. I'm surprised at how much we're fitting in. I am actually really kind of surprised by that. I want some bedside cabinets. So let's just. Oh, I like that. So I like the dark along with the blue. And I know blue isn't a typical um, female colour and some of you might not like that but it's only society that's really said that blue and uh, blue and pink are girl colours um, so you know screw society <laughs> men wear pink nowadays so girls can have blue bedrooms um, we'll have a standing lamp um, let's have a standing lamp. Is this nice? Um, it could be nice if it was a plain shade. Ra ra no. <laughs> Excuse me, sniff in there. Uh, we could go for that lamp. But then it doesn't go with a ball. Unless we can make the ball pure white. It doesn't quite go with... Do we want it green? Um, right, we'll take that lamp away. Let's go into decorations and let's go into clutter. This is like my favourite section of this, is the clutter section. Right, how much are the shoes? So the women's shoe rack is 120 but I'm going to go with it. And I don't know, will we put this at the door actually? Let's, let's put this at the door because most shoe racks are at the door and it gives it no let's put it in the room let's put it in her bedroom I think mm. let's put it at the mm. no let's let's put no Laura <laughs> let's put it in here yeah let's let's put it in here that'd be fine um if we had a dresser that would be that would be good if we had enough so that would be in storage. Do we have one that matches these? Oh, 600. 
six freaking hundred. Ridiculous. I'm gonna put them in this corner. Yeah, that's that's a bit better. Um, back into the clutter section. Much is that? Eighty-five for the coat rack. Let's put the coat rack in. I like the coat rack because it's so like normal life. I also want to put like a chair out here actually. Let's see if I can go ahead and get the chair. Now what I would like to do in the future as well is if we could do like a like a sort of let's build together or let's decorate together type thing where we do a series where we do like a big house together or something like that and Toph could obviously design the house and then we could do the let's build but it would be over a few different parts because it would be a big one sorry about that guys it was telemarketing shock a rooney um so i wanted to put a seat out here uh but i don't think a rocking chair would be nice what I'll do actually how much is the art easel so that we can give some kind of skill item because uh, an art easel out here would be quite nice let's just go for that and we'll put it like like that so that she's got a view right we might remove that again if we can't get the can't get enough money that's always something we can maybe do right back to this then so how much so just for me bath baskets for the bathroom uh body care essentials yes that's that's the kind of female female thing let's do that does the soap dispenser go on the sink no it doesn't what was the point in that well we could put it in the kitchen because i've got a soap dispenser in my kitchen to wash my hands yes no maybe not okay we'll do that and then what we'll do is how much are the candles 110 110 simoleons for some scented candles are you kidding me on I can put that basket on there there's nothing to say that she couldn't have a bath basket what about um, what about some curtains some curtains would be nice, wouldn't it? Yes. Oh no, that's far too big. Um, not too high. I don't want to go really expensive for them. That's the thing. Well, if we went for the the blue, if we got contrasting, no, we'll go for the blue. I think that fits quite well with what we're trying to achieve here. Oh my goodness, I didn't realise she had so many windows in her bedroom. Is that a different colour? Have I chose a different colour or is it the way the light's hitting it? Is it the way the light is? No, that is the same colour. That's so strange. Okay, so it is the same colour before someone points out that it's a different colour. And why don't we see if we can put like a picture or something. Um, why don't we put like a wall decal? Can we put make that a nice no see i can see where they're going with the wall decal or wall decals or whatever they're called but they don't ever really look that great let's just go for this uh lemon painting thing and we'll make it a bit bigger and if you don't know how to make the paintings bigger you press shift and then the little symbol oh god it looks like a backward c it does, it does. It looks like a backward C. <laughs> and it will make that darker wood so that it ties in with the windows and that. So that is her bedroom. So yes, we do not have a dresser. However, I do think it's quite pretty. I do think we've done quite well. What about a rug in the bathroom? Will we go for a, a rug? Let's just shove a rug outside the shower. Because it is tiled floors and you don't want somebody slipping and falling to their death. You know, I know that can't happen in The Sims, but you know, <laughs> these things, these things. And what about a mirror so we can get the skilling up with the mirror? Great wall mirror or a mirror, whatever you want to see it. You can put that on that wall. Yes, yes, no, it doesn't. What about if we move the sink? 
Yeah, I like that. And then what we can do is put a nice... What if we put a unit in here? A unit, like, a kind of... 150. What about if we put a little... Do we have a little table? Accent tables. Do we have a cheapo... A kind of cheap accent table? No. No, what? 255 simoleons. Get out of here with that. Get out of here with that nonsense. Why don't we put like a flower or something? <laughs> we actually have more money than I thought left, which is nice to have. That just seems really big for a bathroom. I just don't think you would have mega flower pots in your bathroom. I just don't see it happening. I do not see it happening. Um. But, it would be quite nice over here. Can we make the wood? That's quite nice, actually. I do like that. Uh, what else? Is there any other decorations? Because I don't, I don't want to make her completely broke. I want her to have some money back. Uh, some money available. Can you put anything on these things? What about toothbrushes? Oh, that sucks. What about toothbrushes? Um, we'll put this... Uh, watercolour. Let's put that on there because it's an apple. You can't really cook on there anyway. Is there anything else we can do for the kitchen? We could put some cookies for a hundred bucks. I don't think so. Those are some expensive freaking cookies. Uh, we could go put some books on the table so that it gives her... <laughs> makes it look as if she's quite clever. <laughs> She's already got books in her shelf, so I don't really see how that makes much of a, a difference, to be honest. And we'll put some tissues, you know, because why not? Somebody needs to blow their nose, it's always nice to have. And we'll colour, oh look at that. Red tissues to match the couch, can't whack it with a stick. Or is, do we have anything actually nice for that? Uh, what about if we go to like... For the love of God, if we go to the living room itself, do we have a clutter? And we have a sculpture. We've got audio. Can we afford a TV? Even a, a crapple, a crapple TV. Can we? Can we get that? We can. But it would leave her with like four hundred odd simoleons, and we can't make this TV bigger. This TV. This. What? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I don't think we're going to be going over that size of TV. I think that's taking the the Michael. It's taking the Mickey there. No, that still looks ridiculous. And it just takes it down to, to that. So we'll not bother. We won't do that. What we will do is buy her a dresser. We'll spend the money on the dresser for her. I think that would make more sense. And I can't remember what colour we've went for. It has a dark front. I know that. Was it that one? What does it look like? It's a kind of grey colour. Yeah, there we go. That's really, really big. Oh, is that big because... I don't know. Can I make this smaller? Why does this seem enormous? Like, that seems like a huge dresser. Is that... I mean, what, what the hell? Why was that so big? Why do they all seem so big? Have I just messed up something? Let's see the size of this. No, that's normal. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll leave the dresser then. So, I think, I think what we'll do... I know that I'm kind of still in here, but what we can do is maybe add in this kind of... How much was that? 65 put that in here and then we'll put some of the clutter on. So we'll put the toothbrushes here and then we'll put, um, I don't know, what will we put, what will we put? Put some, let's put on, let's take this in here. Okay, no we won't, we won't, we won't. <laughs> Now there is more clutter than this, I don't know why it's not really shown it. This is a florist dream starter kit, so let's go and put this outside in our garden. 
There we go. There we go. And that looks quite nice in the garden. So I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I think there's not much else I could really put. There's no kind of uh, centerpiece or from a list. Oh, look at this. Look, a miscellaneous. And it's totes for the bathroom. Okay, well, it's, it's totes expensive for the bathroom but let's go for it let's do that let's put a robe up on the wall that would be nice can you put it in the back of the door no now that would have been cool if you could put that in the door let's put it here so when she comes out the shower she can you know get on the robe and then let's get a towel rack and put that there and then let's remove this crap because we've got some nice got some nice decor items can you put this in the shower no. So what's the point in having it if it's a shower caddy and you can't put it in the shower? Makes no sense whatsoever. I'm really liking these kind of bathroom things, but it just shows that you... We'll put this laundry hamper in. It just shows you that you have to actually look around and see. Is there any sort of... No. Right, I'm done. I am done. I am done. I am completely finished so here we go I am actually quite pleased with that I'm actually quite pleased that I managed to do it with this budget let's put the wall up so you can see the the decor up 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 we need to put this on there we go there we go so the only thing I feel that I did cheat upon was changing the floor and changing the walls however I did do that a couple of times in the last series and he didn't mind so hoping that he kind of feels that way just now but uh, yeah I'm actually really happy with how it turned out I would maybe like to have some art on there and some more lights because I do feel it is slightly dark but I do like it and I think for a starter home it's it's good. It's kind of got everything you need. Pretty much got everything that you need. It's got some skill items as well that you can start your reading and you've got your gardening pots here. You can start gardening. You can start your painting. Like you've got a lot of things that you can start without having to purchase anything else. So that's it. I don't know how long that video was. I may have to kind of cut bits out so that it's not super long but I hope that you enjoyed it and if you want to see more then obviously thumbs up the video and leave me a comment below and I will be uploading this to the gallery fully furnished for you and I will be putting the links of his channel in the description. I would encourage you to go and check him out because not only will you get to see build videos excuse me I've got a hiccup brewing you will get to see he's he's just a really really great guy he's got two channels he's got Hey Yorkie Chilled which is what he does his sims videos on but he also has Minecraft videos on there as well so if you're a Minecraft fan then that's the place to go he's got a lot of different things to mods and stuff like that as well plus he's hilarious like he's one of the funniest youtubers he always cracks me up and uh, like i see he's doing the sims 4 now he does have some sims 3 on his original channel as well and uh, he has his what i like to call his boy channel which is original hey yorkie which has got fifa and things like that but his hey yorkie chilled is the one where he's got all the kind of um universally friendly I think like with your Minecraft and build videos and sims and stuff so go and check him out I'll leave his links in the description and this is going to be a series that you'll see more than once and I hope that you enjoyed me taking you along if you don't like me taking you along my thought process then I'll just do house tours I, I don't mind but if you're interested then you know by all means let me know and also while I'm I'm blabbering let's make sure she can sit on here Let's, let's quickly fire this through to make sure that... Okay, that's fine. That was the only thing I was concerned about because it was quite... Well, actually, can you sit on that one? She can. Wonderful. So, yeah, that's everything play -tessy. So, anyway, guys, have a fantastic day. And thank you, Wendy, for allowing me to use your sim. She's so pretty. And uh, have a great day, guys. I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye, guys.